Hello everyone and welcome to the Evernote for Students series. Now this is episode 5 of the series and what we're going to be doing in this video is actually focusing on how you can use Evernote to help organise yourself for societies or any sort of events like that, to help keep organised as you go across your university or college experience. Now, it's important that you uh, know that this won't be um, necessarily give you the guide, but it will give you some of the functions that you can use inside of Evernote or a very similar application to maximize your time while you're in a society. Whether you're like a member or you're a president or anything in between, you hold a position in a society, the best thing you want to do is help yourself keep organized and keep ready. So, in order to maximize that experience, using something like Evernote can be really great. So in this example, I'm going to show you a few tips that I've been able to use uh, while I was a member and the president of society um, and show you some of the ways that you can organize your events and activities and also meetings and things like that. But I'm also going to demonstrate some examples from my personal experience of doing so. So let's get stuck in. So as you can see here, I've created off with the event side of stuff. So the real cool thing about the society is you've got all these great events going on and being able to keep track of them is tough, but it's very handy too when you have that going. So as you can see, I did when I had a pipeline uh, version of this of events, list of activities. Basically, I created a table which is up here, which was four rows to the side and a couple down. And you can modify that just by using the tab button, just by making more. Uh, but what I would do here is I would add certain things, so let's say charity event uh, for cancer research, maybe, I don't know what the event is. So what we were doing there is, I don't know, maybe a, a, a sponsored 24-hour art, 24-hour art competition. So here, I would be doing a 24-hour sponsored arts competition, and maybe it's between the 25th, uh, 24th and 25th of April, and you would add any modifying notes here um, to you know be able to do that. And and the great thing about Evernote is you've got this here. Uh, it's available on web as well, so it looks great. Uh, it looks available on uh, mobile too, which will make it look great as well. So you can add all of the dates that you have coming up. And I found this really handy because if I had like 10 or so dates that I needed to log down, I'd have this long list. So what you've also got up here is the share link as well. So if I want to share that to a member at the end of a meeting, I just copy and paste that and send that over to them, which is really great. Um, so I always had access to that. I, could, I also like to shortcut this as well so that if I needed it quickly, I could quickly grab it and, and just have the information or I wanted to set a reminder to it, it's all there, which is really handy. So some of the stuff I've really demonstrated in other videos. So what I would have as a society member is I'd have a lot of different emails coming in. So the one thing I would use to do is capture my Evernote email address. So if I go down here, uh, you go over to settings, and once you're in settings, you can see obviously your account information. But when you scroll down, you can obviously see your email that you've got there. But you also have this new email, which it looks quite weird, and has evernote.com at the end of it. But once you've done that, you can copy and paste that or even save it as one of your contacts in your phone. And once you actually have that, it's quite incredible what you can do with it. So if you jump over to a mail client that you have, um, let's say this one here, and I just want to send a quick example to myself, for example. Uh, so I send an email to that. So let's say I had some society information. Maybe uh, there's something here. Maybe I wanted to have information about Jamie Oliver's Christmas deals. I don't know what it is. And I paste that there. Um, and let's say I just knock this bit out because I don't want that there. I just want the email below, uh, all past a week for £5, and I email that in. So what happens is if I go back to my Evernote account, I click uh, Notes, uh, it just needs to sync for a second. So as you can see, it's landed in my inbox perfectly aligned, which is great. So I can see that email all at a glance. I can even download it or share it if I like. But So for example, let's say I wanted to store that in the art thing because it was an important email with some password information that someone sent me in the society or it's some information in general, then I can have that there. I'll delete that just for now. Um, but you can see the context. It was quite handy. Imagine if you had images in that or a PDF, you can import that all and it will capture everything, which is great. The other thing that is important when you're in society is you tend to have a lot of meetings. So making and capturing meeting notes is great. You can also do that with agendas as well. So let's say uh, you had an AGM, which is an important meeting and you wanted to share that about. You've also You've got checkboxes which is great. Uh, you've also got uh, bullet points, which is handy as well. You can include images and things like that. So if I wanted to make an AGM uh, meeting agenda, 
So moving on to some of the examples that I had when I was at university, um, I was a running an entrepreneur society, which is like uh, basically a uh, entre like entrepreneurship. So helping people organize their own businesses. So the cool thing we had was like obviously uh, all of this stuff going on and and being able to catch people's like uh, business cards. Uh, I was able to catch that uh, ideas uh, for things like that, and I could just paste them in, which is great. Uh, collaboration ideas. Uh, I could just take a photo of them, obviously through the app. Um, sheets as well. Um, emails, uh, and I loved being able to share photos of the stuff we got involved in. That's me there, um, over there. So it was quite cool having that uh, available, so I could have all of the information at a glance, which is great. Um, email input was also fantastic as well, um, and also I I did these really cool like. Uh, so when we had a trip, uh, so this was a Birmingham trip we went, and I had all these, I made all these like uh, information about seating notes that I copied in, but I also got the information uh, about the place that we went to, which was quite cool. Um, so I had everything like uh, really coordinated inside of Evernote, um, and you can also obviously have uh, PDFs too, which is really, really nice. So the whole thing was fairly easy to organize inside of Evernote, and I didn't really have any problems when I got started. So anyway, guys, let me know in the description if you're having some issues with setting up your Evernote thing, uh, Evernote for Societies, but l I would love to hear your opinions. I'm going to be helping you in the comments if you have any issues. But anyway, guys, I hope you found this one useful. Anyway, guys, make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and come back for episode six of the Evernote for Student series. Thank you very much, everyone. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.